Hey everybody, Aaron here. For those of you who don't know me yet, I've been a lineman on the east coast of Canada for about 15 years now. I have a quick video for you here to remind you all of one of the biggest hazards we can face while trying to restore power to you and your loved ones, and that hazard would be traffic. Today, I had a tree laying in a three-phase line, right on a main road, and it was on fire. So, I decided to set up my boom track on the side of the road in order to kill the power to the lines by opening three switches while using a load-busting device. Doing so would drastically reduce damage to our lines, also reducing restoration time, making the situation much safer, considering the fire and all. Now, this particular stretch of road has no hills or turns of any kind. You could see for a mile in either direction. I had a dozen large cones around my work area, and enough flashing orange lights to make it look like a dance party in the middle of the street. I was set up for a total of seven minutes, in which time five cars had gone by, three of them whom were driving way too fast. What do you think? Now before anybody comments on the lack of flaggers for this task, I would like to note that our company has a very strict traffic control policy. In it there is a clause in which we are allowed to set up on the road for 15 minutes in order to safely isolate the lines, providing there are no blind hills or turns. With our flashing lights and cones that can be seen for a mile, you would think slowing down would be common sense. Would you feel comfortable knowing that your son or daughter is working on the roads as vehicles speed by a mere few feet away from their work site? Not to mention in the winter time, when the roads are slippery? Let's have a look one more time. It only takes a moment of your time to slow down. We've had a few workers struck in my city now already. One of them unfortunately didn't make it. Please be respectful and slow down while passing through a work site or passing through any abnormal situations you may encounter. We'd all like to go home in one piece to our loved ones. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel for lots more upcoming videos about line work, including the next video where even the plows can't stay on the road.